Hey, Jesus, remember when you were a cute little baby? What happened to you? Isaiah, dude, it's been a little rough, all right? Your prophecy didn't help things. I've been persecuted since I was born, literally. <laughs> Oof, I've had so many prophecies. You mean the one about you being the Prince of Peace and how the whole government would be on your shoulders? Uh, yep, that's the one. What a burden for you to put on a baby. Sheesh. Well, I am just the mouthpiece for God. Story time. Story time. <laughs> he came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. He came down that we may have love. Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Can this be true? She was shooketh. Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and will give birth to a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Hey, Jesus, you've never told me. What does the name Jesus mean? Hey, Siri. What can I help you with? What does Jesus mean? Most dictionaries will translate Jesus' name to be God is salvation. <laughs> Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. It gave upon the midnight clear that glorious song of old from angels bending near the earth to touch their hearts of gold. He saw the earth could will to men from heaven. Joseph, do not hesitate to get married. Mary is blessed. God's Holy Spirit has made her pregnant. And then Joseph married Mary. That's not funny. 
Mary and Joseph were summoned for a census that required them to travel a far distance. But unfortunately, life was different back then. We didn't have Siri to help us out. So they began their journey to Judea, which is where Joseph's hometown was to pay their tax. You are about 90 miles from Judea. It will take you 4.5 days on foot and three by donkey. Thank you, Siri. However, when Mary's womb was ready, she had no choice but to take a break. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wandering love. Oh, prophecy of a child born of God. How are you feeling about that? Is this speculation and gossip or in fact true? If true, will he take your power and rule over all the people? What do you do to plan to do to secure your position? What should people be doing in preparation for this prophecy? Do you intend to to do whatever it ta takes to keep your your power? You three. Find the child from the prophecy. I wish to extend my blessing to him and give him great gifts. Find him and report back to me. Do not 
Meanwhile, Mary and Joseph needed a break from their journey, so they stopped at an inn, only to discover there are no rooms available, not even for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so you spent your first night in a barn, sleeping in a manger. <laughs> Jesus, our brother, kind and good, was humbly born in a stable root. A friendly peace around him stood. Jesus, our brother, kind and good. I said, the donkey, all shaggy and brown, I carried his law.
We heard of the birth of a baby who is to be king. Is it true? How could a child be Prince of Peace? And then a heavenly host of angels appeared. Unfortunately, Herod, being the original Christmas Grinch, had some sinister intentions in mind. Absolutely. In fact, my good Aunt Naraya always used to say, "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the desert not a creature was stirring, not even a pheasant. King Herod's jealousy enlivened a fight in hopes that this Christ child would not make it the night." Fear not, I have come to guide you to the child who they call the Prince of Peace. But I must warn you, your king has evil intentions. Do not return to him. Angels, we have heard on high, singing sweetly through the night. And the mountains in reply, echoing their great Just 
seems to have gone as smoothly as possible, all things considered. I suppose so, but this certainly isn't the end of the story. Thank you all for helping to tell the story of my humble birth, if I may say so myself. But all joking aside, I can't wait to see where each of you will fit in. <laughs>